This is Muchur Colony in the southern Pakistani city of Karachi, a settlement of more than 700,000 people built on top of a swamp and named for its original inhabitants, the Muchur, which means mosquitoes. The waste of Pakistan's most populous city lines the settlement streets, and the future of its children is bleak. Finger, finger, but tucked deep within the slum is a sign of hope. A school built by a charity called the Citizens Foundation. Nadia. Tuition is just 10 rupees or 13 US cents a month per child. Most students were born and raised in the settlement and most work outside of school hours. No child is turned away because of age. In fact, the foundation that built this school has over 600 just like it all over the country. And they've enrolled over 80,000 students in those schools. You've got to get there and, and teach them to read and write and think. And that, I think, is the biggest job for our society, especially for the Pakistani society. And if we keep at it relentlessly, 30, 40, 50 years from now, you will have a, a good part of the world. But in Pakistan, even 600 schools are not nearly enough to fill the void. In a country where over half the population is illiterate, more than 10 million children never go to school at all. The public government school system is largely viewed as a failure, run by an unmotivated bureaucracy and political corruption. So in every way that you look at the system, uh, it is not performing. Retired Army General Sabi Kamaru Zaman once worked within the Federal Education Ministry, but left out of frustration. So I have no hope that any future policy will be implemented unless one finds a lot of public pressure on the political leaders demanding that education should be given the highest priority in the country. Today it has very little priority. That much is clear on a midday visit to the local government school in Machar Colony. Empty classrooms and a schoolyard taken over by local fishermen. The teachers here complain they don't receive the necessary funds to run the school. Less than a quarter mile away, the private charity school's classrooms are packed filled with students like Demur, a 10-year-old who worked as a tailor's apprentice from the age of seven until he developed back problems. He started kindergarten here two months ago and says school is his escape from life outside. When I go home, I have to sit there and look after my little brothers and sisters while my mother's at work. When my baby sisters cry, I have to make sure they get milk. Third grader Sidra has been at this school for two years. Her plans for the future will take her farther than she's ever been, outside of much her colony. I really want to become a doctor. Doctors can do things to help people, and when people are sick, they can make them better. Principal Afshan Tabassam commutes into the slum every day and has seen acceptance grow over the years. When we started this school, the parents weren't ready to send their kids. They'd say, my child is working, and even if he's making 10 or 20 rupees every day, that's a lot for us. But now the parents come to me and say, even though I never went to school, I want my children to have an education. An education that could one day lead to a better life. Amna Nawaz, NBC News, Karachi, Pakistan.